I know you've honestly been doing a ton of press, but I appreciate <laughs> you doing this interview today because this movie is my best friend and I, one of our favorite movies of the year. And we see okay. over like 120 films a year. I think you are like the best storyteller and I love the movie so much. Um, I feel like you've just been on such a journey with this film, with the story happening in the night happening five years ago. You premiered it at Sundance 2020, the pandemic happened, and now you've had the premiere. People are finally seeing the film and seeing how amazing it is. So first of all, I just kind of want to get your reaction to all of the praise that that yeah. fans, celebs have given the movie. I mean, now it's like a sense of relief. Like in the right. beginning, obviously, I was like so ecstatic. I'm so excited. I'm like, yes, let's do this. Like yeah. head first into it. Um, and so now, I mean, after, it's been such a journey, like after yeah. it's moved hands and more writers and more everything it's like and then like you said we premiered at Sundance and at that point I was the excitement was like at a 10 I'm like right. oh I love this and everyone at Sundance loved it right and I had finally got to see it in a theater with an audience I think this film is like one of those films that kind of like the audience adds such a, an extra layer to the experience and so that part of it was amazing. And then pandemic was like, wait a second. And so now to be back here again and to now be back in a the theater and everyone's watching it and talking about it, you know, it's just a sense of relief. Like this has been the longest six years ever. Uh, yeah, I love, um, well, first of all, I love A24 and I've gotten several things from their shop. I ordered two copies of your book that yeah. I'm waiting for it to come in. What was that like? I saw it on your Instagram opening up yeah. the book for the first time and seeing it. Um, what what was that experience like? Because that was a, that must've been like a new thing too. Yeah, that was so much fun. We, um, I worked really close with, with everyone with the book. I, think that that's what kind of legitimizes things for people like I think when things are in print form when they can touch it it's like okay it's a story yeah so I liked that we were able um to do that I I was on board the second that the idea came up I was like of course because it's I, really cool to have your words in like such a pretty book form yeah yeah, yeah. And so, and I worked with everyone really close. I mean, you know, I'm like purple is my favorite color. So I'm yes. like, it has to be purple. Yes. Like we have, you know, all those cute little details. And then it's like the first of its kind too. Cause they're like, even the foot, like I wrote the footnotes. So even the footnotes are really authentic and true to my experience. And then how they have the, you know, the, um, so within the book, there's a retweet and a heart, like it's like literal tweets printed on, on a page. So I just think that's so cool. It's such a like a little collector's item. Keep it on your coffee table. I, no, I'm going to put it, I'm putting it right here in my own <laughs> office when it, when it comes in. Um, well, I got a chance to speak with Taylor uh, last year for her other film, Boogie. And Riley Keogh is one of my favorite actresses. I've loved her ever since the girlfriend experience. I'm honestly just curious for you what your conversations were like with Riley in order for her to play Stephanie, because she obviously yeah. had your story and your experience. What were those conversations like because her performance I mean both Taylor and Riley are incredible yeah. and I love those ladies but with Riley what were those conversations like it's actually crazy because it was Taylor and I who got extremely close after like she asked my blessing and we got so close which yeah. would make sense right because of course yeah. yes so we became extremely close but with Riley I didn't even see we didn't even meet until Sundance like I had knew wow. nothing, so it was I was pleasantly surprised her inspiration it was all what I wrote obviously right. and this is based off a real person so yeah. Janixa definitely asked me like how did this girl act how did she behave and just like that okay it was just like that but that was all Janixa like I think Janixa just told her like just go for it like we're gonna just take it there and you know I just have full full faith and them and I know she had like a dialect coach they went out to Compton they had a good time like yeah no Janika yeah the yes, <laughs> yes no the director the direction of the movie is fantastic Janika did an amazing yeah. job um last question for you you know obviously your your tweet thread it goes on a little bit longer like a couple days a week after the night mm -hmm. I actually really loved where the film ends because it kind of yeah. leaves it open but I'm curious was that something that you were kind of a part in the decision like to to end there and not kind of go on to to say oh yeah she actually yeah. called me from jail <laughs> no that was that was Janixa I think that was just her her creative direction for it to leave you know enough room 
for something else, you know. So did you um, like that choice then? I did. Yeah. I did like it because I mean a lot more did happen after. So but yeah, it's, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, Zola, thank you so much for your time today. I honestly really appreciate you of jumping course. on and hopping on here. You looked so gorgeous at the premiere. I love how ever I saw Dave Franco was there, Jody Turner Smith, who I'm obsessed yes. with. Um, I love her. Yes, yeah, I'm obsessed with her. I love Queen and Slim. Um, well, thank you so much. I can't wait to talk about this movie on my station this weekend and for fans to finally see it in theaters, yes. like you said, like it was intended. Um, congratulations. I'm like so happy for all your success. Thank, you, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you.